If you really want to improve the quality of your Zoom calls, you know, take them to the next level. Go from looking and sounding like this to, to well, looking like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hook up a DLSR camera like this, so you can say, bye bye, poor quality webcam. Hello, professional presentation. You know, there are two ways to hook up a DSLR camera to use for your Zoom or your Microsoft calls, even your webinars, whatever. You can connect it by HDMI or you can connect it by USB. Now, my preferred mode is HDMI. I, I think the, the quality, it's, it's better. But either way, either USB is going to be like a million times better than using one of those cheap webcams. But not all cameras will work with HDMI, even if they've got an HDMI port. You see, some cameras, they don't output clean HDMI. So what's clean HDMI? Well, some cameras, they leave all the, the icons, the menu boxes, the focus box and all that stuff on the feed. Not really a good look. With clean HDMI, all you get is the video, nothing else. Now, the other thing to bear in mind is that some cameras, they've got this stupid, ridiculous 30 minute cutoff. After 30 minutes, you've then got to restart the camera again. Not good. So how do you know which cameras will work with HDMI and if it's going to shut off after 30 minutes? Well, Elgato has a list on their website and I'll put a link below. It shows if your camera is suitable for doing live videos. It's a really good idea to check this list before you go and buy a camera. Anyway, let's get to setting things up. I'll show you how to set your camera up via HDMI, and then I'll show you how to connect it via USB. Now, to connect via HDMI, you're going to need an HDMI to USB connector like this. You plug it into one of the USB ports on your computer, and then you plug it in an HDMI cable from your camera into the other end. Now, there are a couple of different makes when it comes to HDMI converters. For a couple of years, I've been using this one from Elgato. And you know what? I like it. It cost me over $100, but it works. But recently, I've been testing these, these cheap alternatives like this one. This was only 20 bucks from Amazon. And I'll be honest, I expected it to be, well, I expected it to be rubbish. But so far, it's worked without an itch. Now, if you've got any experience with these cheaper connectors, what do you think? Do you think the cheaper ones are as good as the Elgato? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, to connect your camera via HDMI, you're going to need a converter, like I've just shown you. And you're going to need an HDMI cable to connect your camera to the converter. Now, now there are three different types of HDMI sockets on cameras. You've got the full size HDMI, and then there's the, the mini HDMI, and then there's a micro HDMI. Now, more than likely, the micro HDMI is probably gonna be the one on your camera. That's the most common, but check first. Now, when you've got your converter and your cable, you just plug the converter into your computer, and then you connect the cable to the camera. And that's it, you're all connected. So if I now open up Zoom and then from the little gear icon up here, I'll click settings and then we'll go into video. And from this drop down list here, they see these are all the cameras from the camera drop down list. I could select the cam link 4K. <laughs> there we are. That's the HDMI feed coming in via the um, USB to HDMI converter into Zoom. Now, if we go under audio, now, some cameras, some of the Sony, some of the Panasonic, they also send audio via HDMI. And if your camera sends audio via HDMI, if you come under here, under the microphone, and then click the drop down box, there you can see CamLink 4K. It's also bringing audio in. So I could select that as my audio source. Now, if your camera doesn't bring in audio over HDMI, you'll have to plug in another mic, maybe a USB mic, like say this Yeti stereo mic I've got connected here, and you'll have to select that as your audio source. And that's it, you're now set up using HDMI. Now, if you go in the USB route of connecting your camera, this is a Mac only solution. You're gonna to wanna to install Ecamm. Now Ecamm is actually a really, really cool application. 
it's so much more than just a way to connect your camera to your computer. It's a full suite of tools that makes it really easy to deliver, well, really polished presentations. And I'll put a link below with a free, no credit card required trial if you want to check Ecamm out. Now the first thing if you're connecting via USB is to find out if your camera is compatible with Ecamm for connecting via USB. So if you head over to the Ecamm website, and again I'll put a link below, if you check the Ecamm website out, it lists the cameras it can connect to via USB. And this list is growing all the time. So assuming your camera is compatible, and most of the common cameras they are, you'll want to connect a USB lead to your camera. Now, just a quick word on USB cables because this can catch you out. Some USB cables, they're for charging only and they don't carry data. So if you follow the instructions and you've restarted your camera and restarted your computer and it's still not working, there's a chance the cable you're using, it's not suitable. So make sure you get a USB cable that can carry data. Anyway, you connect the USB cable to your camera and then the other end to your computer. Now it's always a good idea to plug it directly into computer and not into a hub. And once you've cabled up at your camera, it's time to start Ecamm. So here we are, we've got Ecamm running and my USB camera is now connected to my computer. So next you're gonna to wanna to tell Ecamm which camera you want to use. So from the camera menu up here at the top, if I select that, there you can see that's the CamLink 4K, that's the HDMI that's coming in. And then underneath here, I've got a Sony A6400 and that's connected via USB. If I select that, there you go. That's the USB coming in. I'll just switch back to the cam link because it's a wider shot. Now, I just want to explain what's going on here. Whatever is in this main window here, this is what Ecamm is going to send out to Zoom. So we've got the feed from the camera coming in and that's coming into Ecamm. And there's, there's actually so much stuff we could do here. I'm actually fighting myself not to get carried away showing you all the amazing stuff that you can do in Ecamm and I'll, I'll cover that in a later lesson. For the time being, we're just sticking with improving your video quality on Zoom. So to get this set up, we've got our USB camera coming into Ecamm. What we've got to do now is create a virtual camera and this is what's going to send it over to Zoom. If I come up here to output and I select that and I come down to install virtual camera, and then select that, it's going to want my password. Now this password is the password for your computer, not your password for Ecamm, and I'll select that. There we go, that's installed. Now, one thing I've got to mention, this is a pro feature. So to use this, you've got to opt for the Ecamm Pro version. So there we go, that's set up, and I'll just go back up to output and just check. There we go, you can see the virtual camera is set up, and that's it. That's all you need to know to set up a virtual camera in Ecamm. What we're going to do now is jump over to Zoom and get Zoom set up to accept the virtual camera from Ecamm. So we'll open up Zoom, click on that, and then we want to go into the preferences, so I'll click the little gear icon, and then here under video on the left hand side, we'll click that, and then here under camera, this drop down box, and select the Ecamm Live virtual camera. So if you click on that, and there we go. Now that's the video sorted. Now as far as audio goes, and I'll just click on the audio tab here. As far as audio goes, Ecamm doesn't send out audio over the virtual camera. Now you can use applications like Loopback to create a virtual mic and I'll cover that in another video. So what you'd have to do is from this drop down list here under microphone, you'd have to select any other mic that you've currently got connected to your system. I and mean, I've got currently got here a Yeti stereo microphone that I'm using. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up a camera coming in via USB so you can use it in your Zoom calls. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's helped you. I'd love to have your comments below. So until next time, bye for now.